Muhammad Fitri. Despite the transition to a new format, parents and Year 6 pupils of SKU SJ2 are pleased with the Primary School Assessment Report, PSAR. The new assessment comprises components of sports, physical and co-curricular activities, assessment, classroom assessment and psychometric assessment in addition to the Ujian Penjapayan Sekolah Rinda UPSR examination. I just got my UPSR results today and I got 5 A's and 1 B. To be honest, I don't really know what to feel right now. My emotions are all over the place. I'm happy, I'm sad, thankful. I'm thankful that I got uh, acceptable marks because we were taught the same, the same form, the old format in training center four. So, yeah, so then we had to start over in center five. So uh, less time, like, we had less time. Was that a lot of pressure to adapt to the new format? Yeah, that was a lot of pressure, but less because we are the second badge. So it's like we know at least a little bit on what to expect. It's a good change, I guess, because not many people are bright in academics some are also in like physical activity so I think it's okay it's good yeah overall it's very good um, I'm very happy with her performance they did they did work very hard um, so there was a lot of changes in the format and things like that so yeah I'm just happy I mean the school the teachers helped and the children themselves put in a lot of a lot of effort a lot of effort yeah overall it's good but implementation you know you always have a good idea but how you implement that idea is definitely more important and that is that determines the success right even if it's a good idea your implementation isn't proper it's not going to give the, the, the expected results so maybe the school is not prepared the teachers are not prepared so the children are not, not prepared up front so it's kind of sudden and I think for the children in primary school it's it's more difficult for them to, to adapt to sudden changes you know the mindset isn't there yet. I mean the new format I guess is quite holistic. It's what we've been waiting for. It's not so much of you know creating A's because I think that's quite um, uh, superficial. So I like this kind of this is what we are actually should be gearing ourselves into. We have let's say two kids. Some are academically better than the other one so how do we you know accentuate the other one? Meanwhile, the school's English teacher, who wants to be known as Kong, also agreed with the transition. Yeah, it's better because UPSA doesn't determine the future. So they have PT3, they have SPM, uh, they have their degrees to do. So I think holistic is good uh -huh, because you're not just booking the stu uh, evaluating, the, evaluating the students just based on grades. Uh, you're evaluating the students based on overall because some students they are good in sports some students they are good in academic some students they are not that good in sports or good uh, good in academic but they are good in dancing singing that's the purpose for this holistic evaluation